everybody, it is Sunday once again, which means it is time for my HGTV Handmade Recap. But first, let's check out my latest DIY project. Hi guys, so a few weeks ago I showed you how to decorate sunglasses. Well, now that the sun is finally coming out, you'll probably want to protect those sunglasses when you're carrying them around in your bag. So today I'm going to show you how to make DIY glasses cases out of felt and leather. I'm going to begin with the felt case since it's a little easier to work with. Grab your felt and your sunglasses. I'm actually using 3D glasses here because all of my sunglasses were really big, but you could use any sunglasses that you want. Place your sunglasses on your felt and fold it over to figure out how large of a case you're going to need. You can mark this with chalk and then go ahead and cut it out. You can also cut a curve at the top to get rid of some of the excess fabric and give it a little more decoration. Now pin your felt together and thread your needle with a colorful embroidery thread. Sew along the edges of your case, leaving the top open. When you've gone all the way around the two sides, tie off your thread and then you're almost done. Now grab a button and some elastic. Sew the button to the top of your case, making sure that it's sewn on securely, but that there's a little bit of give underneath. After that, cut a piece of elastic that is a couple inches long, and then sew it to the back of your case, leaving a loop that can go around the button. And once that's all sewn on, you are done with your basic glasses case. You can put your sunglasses in and then stretch the elastic around the button to keep it all in place. You can make this out of any color felt and thread, and also add decorations before you sew it shut. Now that I've made one of the basic cases, now I'm going to make a slightly more fancy leather version. I grabbed my scrap of leather and then traced around my previous case to get the shape and then I just cut it out. I wanted to add some decorations to this one so I sewed on some spikes and a flower button. Depending on how tough your leather is you might need to use an awl to poke your holes before you start sewing. falling out so I'm going to skip the elastic on this one but you could always add it back in if you wanted to. And now you have a DIY sunglasses case that is ready to transport your sunglasses in style. I am so ready for the beach. Has it warmed up where you are? Let me know in the comments or if you're doing any other DIYs to get ready for summer. So on to the recap. On Monday this week, Meg showed us how to bring greenery into your home, even if you always kill your plants with this faux succulent wreath. And voila! You've made a succulent wreath that brings a little spring and summer vibe into your home. Being faux, this puppy will last forever with no care at all. On Tuesday, Marianne got into the Easter spirit by showing us how to dye eggs using only natural ingredients. Well, we have had so much fun at my house experimenting with these beautiful and vibrant natural egg dyes. Hopefully you guys will give it a try too. On Wednesday, Julia showed us what she got at her thrift store challenge, where she went to the thrift store with only $20. I absolutely love the base of this lamp, but I'm not such a fan of the lampshade. The bottom of the lamp has a little bit of rust on it, but I think it gives it some character. I can't wait to breathe some new life into this old lamp. Stay tuned next week to find out what she made. Thursday was Throwback Thursday, and this week we went back in time to Ask DIY Decorating and Crafts, where we learned how to decorate paper lanterns to spice up the backyard. You know, another great thing about this paper lantern project is that you don't have to use these only outside. These would be terrific for a party or really anywhere in your house, a bedroom, living room, you name it. And finally, on Friday, Anne took us behind the scenes at a flea market to share some tips on how to score all the best stuff. What are some of your tips for flea market shopping, antique shopping? First thing on a hot day like today, I wear a hat, wear comfortable shoes, sunscreen, get here early. Uh, some, of the, some of the unique items, uh, they're one of a kind, uh, once you see them, uh, if you don't buy it immediately, it probably won't be here when you come back. So that 
post the week on HGTV Handmade. If you're craving a little more crafty video goodness, Ask Genevieve, which is the new video series over on the main HGTV channel. They just put up an episode all about how to organize a craft room. Check it out. If you don't have proper storage, it ain't working, and it's not working. I can see all your stuff. So a combination of closed and open storage. The stuff that you don't need every day should be in the closed storage. The stuff you need to get at all the time, obviously out and in beautiful jars, baskets, so that aesthetically you keep inspired. I will have a link down below if you wanna watch that entire video. And if you leave a comment, uh, Genevieve herself has been replying to some of the comments over there. So if you have any questions for her, go ahead and leave them on those videos. So that was the week on HGTV Handmade. We actually just passed 50,000 subscribers this week. So thank you all so much for always watching and always supporting us. And we can't wait to bring you even more fun DIY videos in the future. See you guys next week. Bye.